Hi Audacious, uh, my name's Julie, I'm an area pastor for the east of Manchester and it's my privilege today just to give you a few thoughts about a Bible verse that really means a lot to me. Um, I'm going to be looking at Psalm 121 and I'm going to be looking at the verse 1 to 4 and then a little bit at the end. So Psalm 121, some people call it, I've heard, the soldier's psalm and say that David wrote it um, while he was asking God to cover his head whilst he was in battle. In this psalm, David assures himself of God's help. Now, we might not have to face battles like David did, but we do have similar things, you know, cares and concerns. And um, what really struck me is that David says that he is the maker of heaven and earth. Not a nobody. Our God is the maker of heaven and earth. And he's my friend and he's your friend too. So life can be a challenge and we can feel overwhelmed, uh, afraid, hopeless. But remember, we don't have to face this life alone. We have God who is the maker of heaven and earth. And he's never surprised. Nothing surprises him. There's nothing that our God hasn't come across before. And there is nothing that he can't do. And there's no fear or worry or trouble that he hasn't dealt with before. Now, when um, when I had my, my uh, Emily, um, I used to really worry about her when she was a baby. And this is because John and I lost our first baby in 1994. So obviously, losing a baby when you actually have another baby, you're going to be a bit worried, aren't you? And I used to sit, honestly, I did. I used to sit at night time and I used to be staring at Emily. Any move she made, any cough or sniff. And I'd be, oh, I'd, I would just be so worked up. And one of the things I used to say to God is, I don't want to go to sleep. I need to be watching her all the time. I need to make sure that she's okay. And I remember it was really, um, really clear in my head. I heard God's voice say, I don't go to sleep, so you can. And after that, honestly, it was just like a massive weight had been lifted off my shoulders. And I thought, yeah, I can go to sleep. I can put my baby in God's arms, so to speak, and just know that he never sleeps and he will be watching her all the time. You know, and that just, it just blew, it just blows me away that, that he doesn't go to sleep. Whatever we are going through, he is there, he's awake, he doesn't get surprised and his eyes are always watching out for me, watching out for you and me. He's with us all the way, holding us up when we're weary. His eyes are always open, never taken by surprise. I know I'm repeating myself, but hey, it's good stuff, isn't it? Our God, he's in tomorrow, he's in the past and he's in the future. And he makes a way where there seems to be no way. So the bit that I really want to leave you with is that one thing, you know, well, a few things, but God never sleeps he is always at work he is always at work on our behalf and he loves us and in the in the last verse of this psalm this is what i really wanted to get to you is the lord will keep you from all harm he will watch over your life the lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore so guys, you just need to put yourself under his care. Don't try do stuff, don't try doing stuff alone because we weren't meant to do that. Um, just remember that God is our friend, our helper, and he wants to look after us. So I'm just gonna say a prayer. Um, Jesus, God, we just thank you that you are our helper, you are our tower of strength. Lord, I pray that you will go with us today as you have promised and help, Lord. Make a way where there's no way and just be our guide. In Jesus' name, amen. Have the best day.